Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video I wanted to play around with Universe Sandbox and try to recreate this kind of an unusual new view of a black hole from Stephen Hawking, using not Event Horizon, but Apparent Horizon. Let's play around with the game and see if we can create something that might be visually appealing. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So in one of the previous videos, I talked about how Stephen Hawking now thinks that event horizons, basically these things that you can kind of see on the outskirts, basically the part of the black hole that we kind of usually call the black hole. So this part right here doesn't exist. He, he doesn't think they, they are real anymore. He now thinks that there's something called apparent horizon where a lot of the information basically kind of gets trapped and stored and then released through such as, for example, Hawking radiation or maybe even other means uh, in, in a completely different uh, manner. So he basically thinks that uh, the information paradox can be resolved by introducing this kind of apparent um, horizon to, to, into the black hole equation. And so we're going to try to maybe mimic this. So we're going to ignore the fact that this black hole has um, actually, let's just do this from scratch. We're going to ignore the fact that this black hole has anything. We're going to assume that it's basically just a tiny, 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 uh, minuscule supermass. So we're going to choose something, maybe 100 masses of the sun. Um, I actually before tried to change the size just to make it super minuscule, but it didn't work. I don't think the game allows me to change the size of a black hole, unfortunately. So we're going to have to stick with this for now. Now let's place um, a few things in orbit around it just so that we can create something that looks a little bit realistic. And so we're actually also going to rename this into Stephen Hawking's black hole because it's basically his new view of how black holes probably look. Now we're going to start adding things to it. And specifically here, I want to just add a few rings. And let's start by maybe introducing a few um, objects that will create a few collisions and very likely cause a bit of a disturbance here. Uh, so we're going to just in introduce some bodies into, into this black hole, and this will probably cause a bit of destruction. Here we go. So there, there's our bodies. They actually, for some reason, flew away right away. Not exactly what I expected. Uh, and we're also going to maybe introduce a few rings here as well. So I actually do want to have a few ringed, uh, rings around this black hole. And I think I may have introduced a little bit too much stuff. There's just a tremendous amount of things going on here right now. So we're going to remove some of this just a little bit, especially because the, the moons that I introduced seem to be causing a lot of a lot of destruction. But this is actually what black hole environment might be even like, because it's very, very destructive. There's a lot of things going on here. And for the most part, there's a tremendous amount of energy that's being generated through constant destruction. Now, right in the middle, we're actually going to create something very, very special. We're going to try to create the apparent horizon. Once all of this settles and once all of these objects disappear, uh, we might actually have to remove some of them, especially the fragments, because we don't really need them, at least not as many as I've created here. And so let's remove the fragments as well. And so now you may kind of see that there's something going on around the black hole. There's this unusual, um, almost like a halo around it. Basically a ghost-like appearance. And this is one of the first things I wanted to create. I wanted to create this kind of a dust-like cloud around my black hole, just to kind of give you an idea of what apparent horizon might be like. But this is not, that, this is not it. I wanted to create something else. I'm actually going to create... Um, a simulation of what it might look like as this information and, and, all, and as all of this matter falls into the black hole, what it actually might appear like to, you know, to us from, from an outside, from, uh, to, for an outside observer. So the way we're going to do this is by basically adding several spherical rings with maybe a slightly different color, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And these rings will actually be um, very, very close to this black hole. And it's only going to be on the surface of this black hole as well, so it's going to be even more unusual in that sense. And so let's hope this works. We're going to add them right around here somewhere. I don't really see where they are. All right, so here we are. Here's actually the first uh, spherical creation that I wanted to, to make here. And we're going to actually add a few. We're going to just make it like a lot. So this is what uh, this 
kind of a chaotic information might be represented as on the surface of a black hole. Now, it's suddenly super, super slow. And don't forget that this is actually uh, not in real time. This is like one thousandth of a second per second. And so what you can kind of see here is what I think Stephen Hawking actually imagined in his paper that he wrote in 2014. This a very unusual apparent horizon. This information that's essentially stuck on the surface of the black hole uh, where we think event horizon maybe is, but he doesn't believe in event horizon anymore. Um, and some of this information once in a while escapes as Hawking radiation or maybe through some other means. And you can kind of see that not all of these particles are stuck to the black hole. Some of them actually do escape. Now, this is not the best representation of the apparent horizon, but this is the best I could do using Universe Sandbox. And obviously around the black hole, there's also going to be the accretion disk, which we're going to create using a very different sort of color. And so now in super, super slow motion, you can kind of see what black holes might be like, according to Stephen Hawking. So there is that uh, apparent horizon with its information. There's obviously nothing on the inside. There is singularity in the middle. And if you move out of this um, apparent horizon around it, you'll have the accretion disk, which is here in yellow, uh, with a lot of other stuff lying around it. And obviously stars in the orbit as well. Uh, some, or I guess most black holes have stars around them. And well, so here you go. Here is your slightly more accurate representation of a modern view of a black hole, according to Stephen Hawking. Now, maybe this is not exactly how he imagined it. Maybe it's not purple in the middle, doesn't have these yellow blots. But uh, this kind of gives you an idea of the apparent horizon that he env envisioned. And also, obviously, the accretion disk that we know is there. And this is just so we can actually explain the so-called information paradox about which uh, Einstein talked about a long time ago and about which he, uh, Stephen Hawking talked about it. About which Stephen Hawking talked about something like 40 years ago and we still have no resolution about it. So basically that's the paradox of uh, information not really disappearing when it enters black hole. Something must happen to it. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video and I wanted to create and kind of help you visualize the modern re representation of a supermassive black hole, or really any black hole for that matter. But in this case, it's a black hole that's about 100 masses of the sun. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something from it and come back tomorrow if you want to learn something else that you may have not known before. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye. And to finish this video, we're going to go inside of it, right onto the apparent horizon and just stay there and observe what it looks like. See you guys tomorrow, space out.